Hey guys, welcome back. Now here in this session, I'll start a very important sub-module called asset accounting. This is a very important, I mean to say like multiple configuration steps are there guys, multiple, uh, you know, transactions we are going to test here, right? And uh, these all things are going to be discussed. Whatever the configurations are there is going to be discussed in details one by one. Okay, I'll explain uh, you know how to configure and even the logic behind these all configurations and all because that is what the, that is what the most important things or is or is like several uh, tutorials are there, several videos are there, several configuration documents are also available on Google and all where you can get the configuration steps. But here the main important thing is we need to understand why and then how. Okay, so now let's start from the introduction part first. And the first thing is like at uh, the first question is what is assets? Okay, so here the simplest definition is any item or property which is owned by an organization to produce certain economic value is called asset. It is going to be divided into two part guys. That is called tangible and intangible assets. If you talk about tangible assets, then the asset which is having physical appearance is called tangible assets. Like say for example, uh, building, plant, machinery, uh, you know, like computer, furniture fixtures, vehicles, these all are called tangible assets. If you talk about intangible assets guys, then vice versa in the sense like no physical appearance, for these kind of assets, uh, for example, like goodwill, patent, trademark, copyright, these all are the uh, classic example of intangible assets. Again, guys, tan tangible asset is going to be segregated in two parts that is called current assets and uh, fixed assets and all, right? So, uh, guys, we will not go in uh, that, you know, basics and all, like what is current assets and what is fixed assets and all, okay? Let's talk about the asset accounting in SAP system. Okay. So now, guys, if you talk about the asset accounting here in SAP system, then it is used for managing and monitoring the fixed assets. Look at here, I have specified. In other words, we can say that asset accounting deals with the fixed assets from the date of acquisition acquisition means what guys the date of purchase we can say or construction also okay so so here asset accounting deals with the fixed assets from the date of acquisition till the end of asset life how the asset life is going to be ended guys so you might be you might have heard about the what to say process called depreciation right so if the asset is fully depreciated in that case we can say that asset life is ended or else if it is like in that case like depreciation means the asset life is going to be ended and it means the asset is going to be retired right now if you talk about the major transactions which is taking place uh, for the fixed assets accountings i have specified here Look at here, asset acquisitions, asset retirement. Again, retirement also, guys, we are having like uh, multiple, uh, you know, ways are there to retire as assets like uh, asset retirement through sales or is again like retirement through a scrapping, asset a scrapping. This is also a process. Now we are having asset transfer, right? And the most important activity is called asset depreciation, right? Guys, if you talk about like, uh, see this, this depreciation calculation is very important activity because this is how we are going to specify the accurate figure of fixed assets in the financial statement. Financial statement, I mean to say like it's a combination of PNL account and uh, balance sheet. So I mean to say balance sheet, right? In balance sheet, uh, see the thing is like, let's suppose if, if we have acquired an assets like two year back, uh, that asset price was or value was one lakh one lakh but right now like after two years it doesn't mean that after two years again the same value is going to be specified in financial statement guys 
because the actual price actual worth of asset is going to be reduced because of multiple factors and most likely like because of like uses right so the that is why depreciation calculation is a very important activities right now if we talk about this depreciation then we all know depreciation means depreciation means what fall in the value of fixed assets now the question is why there is fall in the value of fixed assets so just now i have quoted because it's in use and since it is in use so there will be a wear and tear in the assets right wear and tear means what guys wear and tear means there will be damages due to uses this is what the simplest uh, meaning of wear and tear damages due to uses right so now whatever transactions i have specified here just now these all transactions will be tested in sap one by one okay but before that we have to do certain configurations right it's not like one or two guys multiple uh, you know configuration steps are there okay so we are having asset accounting we are having multiple configuration steps are there so let's have a look on the configuration steps one by one guys next session i'll explain these all things like what is the chart of depreciations the uh, you know most important thing is like asset class also because uh, if you go for interview uh, then multiple questions are going to be derived from asset accounting guys right so whatever configurations we are going to do first of all you should have some idea about these configurations like why to do these configurations what is the control what kind of control is going to be like let's suppose here i have specified create asset class so what do you mean by asset class what kind of control is there right what is going to be controlled by asset class so these all things are going to be explained in details even apart from this also multiple other uh, what to say configuration steps are also there guys right in asset accounting most likely here uh, whatever transactions are going to be posted because before asset accounting uh, we have seen like account receivable account payable and all and there whatever transactions were going were posted in account payable or in account receivable then there manually we used to uh, enter the gl accounts we used to give the gl account let's suppose rent related gls uh, what do you say uh, your uh, audit fee related gl or any other expense related gls are going to be let, used uh, what do you say in account payable likewise in account receivable whatever sales and revenue related gls were there that is we are going to put manually but here in asset accounting what is happening guys in asset, asset accounting uh, multiple like if you talk about that testing and all once we perform the testing testing means what guys testing means i mean to say the transaction which i have specified here asset acquisition asset retirement scrapping transfer depreciations whatever these activities are there right so once we perform this these all transactions and all then in most of the transaction what is happening guys automatically system is going to determine the gl account <laughs> manually we are not going to give the gl account automatically system is going to determine the gl account so how this gl account automatic determination of gl account happen guys so if you are able to remember the tax related configurations tax related configurations means i'm talking about we talk about direct tax so called withholding tax or is like if you talk about uh, you know tax on sales purchase indirect tax so there also what is happening guys system is going to determine the gl account uh, what to say uh, automatically how so how automatic determination of gl account happen guys the automatic determination of gl account happen only if you assign this gl account somewhere so likewise as i said here in asset accounting also in most of the transaction system system is going to determine the gl account automatically so how system is going to determine the gl account this logic these all things we need to understand right these things we have to understand look at here we are having like a specify account determination so this is a kind of this is a key which is going to be created and against this key what is happening guys we are going to assign the gl account but still how system is going to determine this key so in that also logic is there that's what i'm saying guys each and everything we are going to have a look in details one by one we'll see the configuration starting from copy reference startup depreciation and apart from this as i said like multiple configurations are there these all things we are going to see one by one in details so the session is going to be wide informative and quite interesting so next session onwards all the configuration part will be there